Hi friends and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be talking about the new Dior Hydrating Shine lipsticks. These are the new refillable lipsticks from Dior and I'm going to show you a lot of swatches. As I promised in one of my previous videos, I was able to go to my Dior counter and I was able to swatch a lot of colors for you. So in this video I'm going to show you really good high quality footage of the lipsticks filmed in natural light. So be sure to watch this video in HD and preferably on your desktop or laptop computer because that's how you're going to get the best um, experience and you're going to be able to see for real how the colors look in real life and in natural light so let's go ahead and get started if you're new here and you love luxury beauty join the fun subscribe i would love to have you here we have the best beauty community here of so many knowledgeable people and so many makeup lovers and we love to uplift each other so if you need a little bit of positivity and if you need to escape in a beautiful makeup world be sure to subscribe right now i would love to have you here and a very warm welcome to anyone who is new so now i want to start inserting the swatches and the footage that I took in natural light of the lipsticks I have 17 colors to show you and for now I only purchased two shades of the lipstick because I currently have 20% off at one of my local retailers and I want to take advantage and get the lipsticks with a little bit of discount save a little bit of money but at the same time I purchased those two lipsticks for the full price because I wanted to support my local Dior counter because they were so nice they let me swatch everything for you guys so I wanted to support them and I purchased two shades. They only had the classic lipstick case but these lipsticks come in four different cases. You can choose from four different cases and I'm going to insert a photo right here of the cases. I actually love the silver case to be honest but maybe some other time because for now they only had the classic case. So the shades that I decided to purchase for now are 418 Beige Oblique and 628 Pink Bow. So right now in this video I'm wearing Pink Bow which is 628 which is a beautiful dusty rose color. I think that it's a beautiful statement color. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at uh, all of the swatches with close-ups and I want to comment a little bit on the lipstick. So these lipsticks actually come with the new formula of Dior. These hydrating shine lipsticks have 90% natural origin ingredients. I have to say that the lipsticks feel very comfortable on the lips. I wore one of the lipsticks yesterday, the whole day, and I have to say that for a shiny lipstick, it actually wore very nicely and it's quite long lasting for a shiny lipstick. Overall, I love the formulation of the lipsticks because they feel very hydrating, moisturizing on the lips and this high shine finish is finish is absolutely gorgeous. Now a lot of you may be familiar with this formula. So Dior used to have the Dior Lacquer Stick lipsticks. I had um, seven or eight colors from those it was the exact same formula. So if you're familiar with the old Dior Lacquer Stick lipsticks, this lipstick is exactly the same. Uh, probably the only difference is that this, these lipsticks are a little bit more long lasting than the Lacquer Sticks, but in terms of feel and finish, they are absolutely the same. So they are more shiny compared to the new Chanel Rouge Allure L'Extrait lipsticks. I have a review of the new Rouge Allure L'Extrait refillable lipsticks. I'm going to have a link in the description box. These are definitely more emollient and more shiny compared to the Chanel Rouge Allure L'Extrait. I would compare this lipstick formulation to Chanel Rouge Coco Bloom lipsticks. They have the same amount of intensity of the color and the same amount of shine. Now I want to go ahead and comment on the colors and I'm going to be inserting footage so that we can uh, look at the colors together and I want to comment because I want to share with you what are my favorite shades, what are the shades that I believe are the most unique. So number 100 nude apparently I have this lipstick as the lipstick I have it as the lip balm this is the iconic nude color so if you're looking for a good nude color this one is really beautiful but the colors that I would recommend actually the two nude colors that I would recommend here are 329 Thai and Dior which is a gorgeous rosy nude color so I would absolutely 100% recommend this color if you're looking for a beautiful pinky nude color and then if you're looking for a gorgeous beige nude color 
then go for 418. I think that this is a very well balanced beige nude color that is very hard to find. It is not too dark and it's not too light. It is a beautiful color and that's why I decided to purchase the beige nude color. I'm also very tempted to buy with my 20% off to buy 329. This is the pinkish nude color because you can never go wrong with a beautiful pink color. Then the other color that I would absolutely recommend, this one is 008 Dior. This one is a beautiful brick red color. So this one is a red color, but that has just um, the right amount of orange in my opinion. Now this one is incredibly beautiful in real life because I like orangey red, but I would say that when it comes to an orangey red lipstick, I'm very picky with my colors because I don't like a lipstick that is too orange because it tends to, it doesn't feel very beautiful on my skin tone. But I think that if you're looking for a beautiful orangey red color or red with a little bit of orange, I think this one is the right choice. It's going to be the right choice. Then the next color that I wanted to pay attention to is 976. And this one is, let me just go ahead and see the name, B Dior. So this lipstick, this color is quite extraordinary. I have to say this is a bright fuchsia color, but when I took the lipstick in my hands and when I was holding it in, um, in store, it actually has, it's a fuchsia color, but it has tiny purple, kind of a violet slash purplish, um, shimmers. The shimmers are not going to be visible on the lips, so these lipsticks come in the shiny finish and in the shimmer formula. The shimmer formula is not a real shimmer, so you're not going to see shimmer on your lips whatsoever or you're not going to feel the shimmer on your lips. So the shimmer actually is so finely milled that you can barely see it. You can probably see it right in the sunshine or if you're holding the lipstick under light, then that's when you're going to see the shimmer. So 976 B Dior is definitely a color that is really beautiful, bright for the spring season and quite extraordinary, I would say. Then the other color that I want to recommend is 717 if you're looking for a dark beige color, kind of a brownish color. Now I'm very tempted to get this one, but I decided to go for 418 because of my pale complexion. I think that 717 is going to be a little bit too dark for me and I would probably want to wear this kind of a dark brown color um, in the fall slash winter months. But now for the spring and summer, I prefer something that is going to be a little bit lighter. But if you have deeper skin tone than mine, then I would say that 717 could be a beautiful statement nude, statement beige nude color. So just to keep that in mind. And I wanted to pay attention also to 717 and 716. So these two colors are very similar to each other, 716, is a little bit more, has a little bit more red, whereas 717 is just um, a little bit more brown. And then the other color that I would like to recommend is 628 because I think that this is a quite extraordinary dusty rose color. I have it on my lips today and I have to tell you guys that camera doesn't do justice to this color. It's so extraordinary and beautiful dusty rose color that I think is going to suit all, absolutely all skin tones. So just you can see that on me, on my pale complexion, this one looks quite dark, but I promise you that in real life it looks really beautiful. It looks absolutely stunning. So unfortunately, once again, the camera just doesn't do justice to this color, but I think that this is a gorgeous color. You know what? This color actually reminds me of um, my beloved Shantikai, what was it called? A Shantikai lipstick in Wisteria, but the Shantikai lipstick with Wisteria just have to swipe so many times to get them um, some amount of color, whereas this one, just with one swipe, I get the beautiful impact. So this one reminds me of Wisteria, but I prefer this one because of the more, um, because of the more color that I get from this color. Just with one swipe, I get just enough color. And then the last shade that looks very interesting to me is 331 Mimi Rose. This is a peachy nude color, which I'm planning to purchase with my 20% off. Unfortunately, they didn't have a sample of this one. They didn't have it, uh, still didn't have it, so I couldn't swatch it for you. But I saw the lipstick, um, and it, I think that it's a beautiful peachy nude color that is going to be so pretty and so fresh for the spring season. I think that it's a beautiful color. So these are the colors that 
attracted my attention the most. These are the colors that I would actually recommend. Um, it's all up to you, of course. Do let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do let me know what are some of your favorite colors. What would you recommend? And I can't wait to buy more colors from these. I'm so tempted to this lipstick formulation. I really, really love this new lipstick formulation from Dior. At the time when I'm filming this video, you can actually take advantage of the Sephora Spring Sale event and you can get a certain discount on these lipsticks. I would highly recommend doing so because the lipstick formulation is truly spectacular and I wanted to mention also a cheek product from Tom Ford. This is Eclat New. I already showed you how this looks on my face. I have it today on my cheeks, the nude color only. And I have to say that I have been wearing this cheek product for the past um, two days and I really love the way it looks on my face. So I would highly, highly recommend this one, um, purchasing this one. It's really beautiful. If you're looking for a good high quality nude blush, I think that this one is the way to go because you have a nude blush and a beautiful pinkish blush that looks so fresh. So now I want to show you how the two colors that I picked look on my lips and I'm going to finish this video. So right now at the time when I'm filming this video, it's been three hours since I wore the lipstick. I wore the dusty rose lipstick. What was the color once again? Let me go ahead and see. So right now I'm wearing 628 pink bow and I wore this lipstick for the past three hours. You can see that it still looks absolutely flawless and I had my cup of coffee. I had only one coffee. The color still looks very beautiful, I have to say. I don't um, have any complaints. The color still looks quite shiny, very beautiful. Not as shiny. The shine is not as intense as I first applied it, but I don't need actually more shiny lipstick. Right now, my lipstick looks absolutely stunning after having one coffee and after three hours of wear. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I always appreciate your time very much. I know how precious time is and I always feel very grateful when you choose to spend some time with me. I hope to see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.